Um, today was a big mail, tea mail day because I had gotten um, a couple of things in the mail, but then I also got my um, teas from, I don't know if you say Grimoire or Grimoire, might be Grimoire. But anyway, they are a little like niche kind of um, tea company where they put things out in small batches. It's, it's basically like a one woman show. I think her husband helps, but she hand blends everything in her home and then puts them in really cute bottles and they all have really fun imagery and they're kind of like a fandom tea is what it is so they have all so they have teas on all different kinds of um disney shows harry potter doctor who um star wars just a multitude of different things and so they um Many times she'll offer things on her Facebook page. She has a VIP Facebook page and <laughs> she'll put it out. At, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, she'll put out an email that says, hey, I'm going to be doing a um, like a restock at this time or hey, I'm going to be doing a um this or that so she sent an email um not an email a message and it said hey we're going to be doing a sample sample sets and she's done those before and basically you can go through and pick 10 of the teas you want to try <clears throat> and then she'll send you little samples of those um i have accumulated quite a few of her teas i do find honestly sometimes they are either hit or miss either i love them or i don't it's generally not in between so I thought that the sampler set would be a nice way to try some of these without committing to buying an entire um, bottle of the tea. Her teas come in bottles. So the samplers, they sell out very quickly. She released it and I think within a minute they were sold out. So I did receive them though. And so I thought I'd show you the samples that I got to try. The first one is their Grimoire or Grimoire blend it's like your signature blend black tea with vanilla bean vanilla flavor and peppermint and that's enough tea probably for two cups i'd say this one is called i'm fine it's an earl gray with cinnamon marshmallow leaf blue cornflower and cream flavor hades is black tea all spice cinnamon cloves peach and blue cornflower so that's kind of a different take on a chai clever girl black tea mango pieces goji berry and marigold captain this is like captain america so it's red white and blue white tea blue cornflower elderberry and goji berry but look at how pretty that is i really like the look of that tea off with her heads Apple, banana, coconut, cherry, raspberry, elderberry, rose, no. hibiscus, and white, white raisin. Haunted Mansion. I really wanted to try this one. Black tea, coconut, coconut flavor, and lavender. Hey, put in black tea, coconut, and coconut flavor. Diagon Alley, black tea, chocolate flavor, and cinnamon. And then just one bite, black tea, safflower, apple, and cinnamon. So from a lot of the names, you can probably guess what type of fandom thing this the teas are coming from. I do have a bottle of tea coming, the uh -huh. Chocolate Frog. I think that's the name of it. I've heard some people say that they love that one. Other people didn't. So I'll be very curious to see what I think about that. Um, but again, the teas they are hit or miss i either love them or i don't and i that's why i thought the sample site it was it was very inexpensive it may have been ten dollars twelve dollars something like that it was very inexpensive for the um the samples her shipping is very reasonable too so um i think i i, I like the concept i love the packaging it is such pretty interesting packaging she takes the jars uh actually i'll go grab one and show you 
Okay, so I just went and grabbed my bin. This is what I keep um, my Grimoire teas in, just so I could keep them together. And so inside, this is what the, the, the bottles look like. Um, so they're a glass bottle, and she puts like a wax covering. Unfortunately, what happens is that these little um, wax pieces kind of if you can see that those little wax pieces eventually kind of break off so they become brittle um and it doesn't unfortunately keep the uh, the look and i think that that's part of the appeal is the aesthetic it's just a neat looking package um but i've had a couple of these the ones i've had for like this hook one um the pieces have started to fall off of it but these are the ones that's what I've got in there and I have like I said the chocolate frog full-size bottle coming she has changed her bottles though um, so these were kind of like the original looking ones this is Lucille hook but now she made one for me with the new packaging because I had ordered something and the um, she didn't, yeah, she didn't have the old, uh, actually, no, this may, I think what happened, she didn't have the label, the iridescence label like that. This is um, Death Star, so she just printed off one instead of having the iridescent label. Um, but she has new, but the new labels are matte like this. It's kind of like that matte packaging, though. And then she had... Um, like a throwback collection where I guess when she first started doing them, it was in this kind of package and label. But you can see this one, that that piece is broken off there too. And then it just doesn't look quite as nice, unfortunately. But it's par for the course, I guess, with this kind of, when you're working with, with this kind of material. So anyway, I'm very excited to try these teas. And if you're interested, I can do a grimoire collection video if you'd like I'd be more than happy to show you the teas that I do have from them uh, and which ones I've tried that are my favorites um, off the bat I can tell you I really like kidnap the Sandy Claws that one's pretty good but um, yeah so if you'd like me to do a video on that I'd be more than happy to if you have any questions leave those below and as always um, thanks for watching Bye. Hey.